Next item on the agenda, item six is administrative items, capital improvement program. And I think Charlie, you were gonna summarize that? Yes. Oh, right. <laughs> um, just going back to the last item, you've already taken action. I just wanna point out on the dais in front of you, you have an email from uh, oh. Dave and Carla Ennis who are the adjacent neighbors to the Oak Walk project. Um, their comments basically are really about the Oak Walk project. They don't appear to be so much about this uh, zone, this amendment to the zoning ordinance. But you have that in front Thanks of you for, for consideration. Thanks for acknowledging Do you want to summarize the staff report on the five-year yes. capital improvement program? Yes, uh, City of Emeryville has updated and revised its capital improvement program for fiscal years 2004-05 through 2008-09. I will point out that there's an error on the agenda. The agenda says fiscal years 5, 6 through 9, 10. We were just overly optimistic there, I guess. Anyway, it's really 0405 through 0809. Uh, there's a section of the California Government Code that requires the CIP be referred to the Planning Commission for your review of its consistency with the general plan. We have reviewed the CIP and we have determined at a staff level that it appears to be consistent with the general plan. I also want to note that as you are well aware, we are currently updating our general plan. It's anticipated that the new plan will be adopted in 2007 and development of an updated capital improvement program at that time will be an important implementation measure for the new general plan. So that's further down the road in a couple of years. Meanwhile, we have this CIP, and we need to look at our current general plan to see if it conforms. Um, the capital improvement program document is organized into eight categories, which are community facilities, including the marina, transportation and traffic improvements, street beautification, which includes utility undergrounding, pedestrian and bicycle improvements, sewer and storm drains, economic development, housing, and information technology. Um, in the staff report, we have gone on to list each project in each of those categories, and they are numerous. Um, I'm not going to go through them all here. Uh, we have also noted how these projects in each of these categories conform to the various goals and policies of the general plan. Again, I won't go through all of that unless you want me to. Um, I will also point out that, um, well, we have a, a resolution uh, for you, which um, goes into a little more detail on each of these eight major categories and how they conform to the general plan goals and policies. And also attached to your staff report, there is a table. I believe it runs about three pages. Looks like this, like this that uh, lists all of these projects by fiscal year and how much money is allocated to each project and if there's any future funding or any unfunded projects. Um, the, public, uh, the public works director is here who he can answer questions if you have any or I can also try to answer questions you may have. That concludes my presentation. Thanks, Charlie. Any questions? Of Charlie or Hank, who sat patiently through this meeting? I, I actually do have one question. There was one little, perhaps not so little, five acres, that surprised me, or at least it never made it to my radar screen. And this is on, on page three, about halfway down, um, a couple of issues regarding the AC Transit uh, maintenance facility site. Uh, there was a bullet point that says a new recreation facility community center on the grounds of the current AC Transit maintenance facility. That's um, the proposed uh, center of community life, which I'm very aware of and, and absolutely support. Uh, directly below that, the next bullet is establishing a five-acre park on the grounds of the current AC Transit maintenance facility. Um, I personally have never been aware of a park, and my understanding of that has always been for the various aspects of the uh, center of community life. Have I just not been paying attention about this park, or is it something that's just like a part of the whole community, proposed community center, and yeah. it is? Okay. I think if you look- There's others on there as well, and I think yeah. it's just incorporating what's in the current concept plan. Mm -hmm. 
Right. So it's like they're all part of that. That the uh, that the center would be like a building facility within a larger park that would also include. A, I, I think we were talking about schools and and the recreation, and I think there was also allude, alluding to a sports complex mm -hmm. for that site. But um, so the park is just like a general a general term that will be more like a, an activities park and a utilitarian park that includes all of these. Right, and you'll okay. learn more about the Center of Community Life at On next Tuesday. Tuesday's uh, general plan meeting. Um, you'll notice, if you go through this list, that there are a number of projects that appear to all be the same project. Yeah. The same project appears to be listed several times. Well, these are technically separate capital improvement projects and for funding of different aspects of the project. So, yes, I think the park is one piece of it and the rec center is another piece of it, but they're okay, listed yeah. separately in the capital improvement. Because yeah, when, I, when I read five-acre park and I think of a park as, you know, something a little bit different, but if that's just, you know, a part of the overall package where the park is the envelope that contains all of this. Probably has to do with the timing and the funding yeah, source. Then it makes more sense. Okay. Is there anyone wishing to uh, speak on this item? It's not a public hearing item, but you're sitting through the meeting. Seeing no one, uh, we have a recommendation to make on this. Someone want to make a motion? Unless there is further discussion from the commission. Now my question is answered. I'm happy with it. I move to approve. Second. So we have a motion by Kane and second by Troiding. And I guess the recommendation is um, to the council that there is consistency with the capital improvement program um, to the general plan. Yeah, it's actually uh, not exactly a recommendation to council. It's simply a finding by the planning commission that the CIP is consistent with the general plan, which is required by the government code before the council can adopt the CIP. Thanks for that clarification, Charlie. I will be finding that we <laughs> And my second holds. So let's do a roll on that. Uh, Commissioner Kane. Aye. Commissioner Lutz. Aye. Commissioner Troiding. Aye. Vice Chair Jeffrey. Aye. Chair Martin. Aye. Five ayes. The uh, resolution is approved. Item 7, study session. This is the Marketplace Expansion at Bay Street and Christie Avenue. Okay, I, I would and like to request a short break before oh, we... Oh, okay. Yeah, because well, this is going to be probably five-minute break long. here. Okay. I'm not sure you need to set up as well. This is your time to set up if you need to. Well, we'll take a five-minute break, so we'll reconvene at 5 to um, 8. <laughs>